वेलकम टू आर चैनल सक्सेस बर्ड्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू रिसीव द नोटिफिकेशन वेरी फास्ट टू यू सो टूडे वी विल डू अ वेरी वेल नोन टॉपिक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स क्लास सिक्स दैट इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग एलिमेंट्री शेप्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एन एर टाइम लेट्स गेट मूव फर्दर टू द टॉपिक सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एंगल सो वट आर एंगल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिस्कस द स्पेस बिटवीन टू लाइन्स और सर्फेस दैट मीट मेजर इन डिग्री नाउ द एंगल ऑफ द सर्फेस ओके द एंगल ऑफ द सर्फेस बिटवीन टू लाइन्स और दैट मीट ओके मेजर इन द डिग्री द द स्पेस बिटवीन टू लाइन्स ऑफ सर्फेस दैट मीट एंड मेजर इन द डिग्री so there are various types of angles that is straight angle right angle acute angle obtuse angle and reflex angle so we discuss a little bit about all of them what are these so first we discuss about the straight angle what is straight angle the angle of 180 degree is straight angle let's see 180 degree is completely straight so the exactly straight angle is the 180 degree and so that's why it's known as the straight angle now let's move further that is right angle what is right angle right angle is not straight just half of them means it totally 90 degree so straight 90 degree okay after it let's come to the acute angle what is acute angle acute angle is less than 90 degree means more slanting 90 degree is straight but the acute angle is more slanting okay so acute angle is less than 90 degree now let's move further and that is obtuse angle obtuse angle is a uh, more than 90 degree acute angle is less than 90 degree but the obtuse angle is more than 90 degree such so is known as the obtuse angle here you can see obtuse angle which is more than 90 degree more okay now reflex angle reflex angle is more than 180 degree means more than a straight angle as the straight angle now more than the straight angle but less than 360 degree jo reflex angle hoti hai wo straight angle se to zyada hoti hai the straight angle se reflex angle zyada hoti hai par jo complete angle hoti hai so what's a complete angle कम्प्लीट एंगल इज ऑफ थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री मीन्स उससे बड़े कोई एंगल नहीं थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री एक टेढ़ी होती है एक सीधी होती है थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री इज द फुल राउंड ऑफ इट पूरा गोल चक्कर सो थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री सबसे बड़ी होती है सो द एंगल दैट इज मोर देन अ स्ट्रेट एंगल बट लेस देन अ कम्प्लीट एंगल आर नोन एज द रिफ्लेक्स एंगल ओके now we will discuss and we will learn the concept within more so here is a watch i have drawn a watch now we study throughout the process of watch in this what will happen if we are saying you have learned the directions in the geography suppose here it is so here is north south here is west and while here is east so kya hai north south east west now suppose you are facing to north aap hither face kar rahe ho you north ki taraf here is the north na north hai to hither aapne face kar rakha now is suppose we divide it to four parts
we divide it to four parts we will see that if anyone tell us to uh, go to east north to east so we walk through the north to east we are taking some steps through north to east like this we are taking some steps and we are finally here we are finally here and the east here is the east now means we shed this part because we have already walked in it so we shed this part now we see the fact in this four parts are there one two three and four so four parts are there and we walk to one part means we walk south to east means one in the one direction we walk and that is from north to east now we go to east to south and even tell us to go to east to south so we come here to east to south now now also there are four parts one two three and four but we have go throughout these two parts means first we come from north to east then east to south means we have go means we turn to two parts finally we have these two parts so if we don't go through it so it is one part means four by one and here we have four by two now let's move further now we will discuss about polygons what are polygons polygons are the shapes indicating the triangle quadrilateral pentagon hexagon etc now the name is triangle the number of sides it contain is 3 and the illustration is this this shape this was in triangle the sides are 1 2 and 3 now we talk about quadrilaterals quadrilateral has four number of side and the intersection of quadrilaterals is here 1 2 3 and 4 now the fifth uh, five number of side the shape has is the pentagon the instruction we start that 1 2 3 4 and 5 now the hexagon hexagon has six number of sides 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now the octagon octagon has eight number of sides 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 now let's move further from three dimensional shape shape that are not plane are called three dimensional shape the shape that are not planes that are 3d they are known as the three dimensional uh, shapes example are the geometry box the box of pen a cell a pen and a toy are all example of three dimensional shape now we move further to faces to faces and vertex first the faces what is the face each side of the cube is a flat surface called as face now suppose we take a cube it's a cube we are indicating a cube or die so we see if we see the dice or the cube we can see each side of the cube has a flat surface here is a flat surface even here all these sides have the flat surface so this flat surface is known as face now let's move further it is edge so the definition of edge is two faces meet at the line segment called the edge three edges meet at a point 
called vertex now two faces we will tell any suppose two faces are meeting at the point is known as the edge now we take an example of this cube you can see in this here is a point and three lines one from here here is a point and three line went from here went from here and here is meeting so this is known as the vertex we take one more example of a box suppose here here is a point now one two and three lines are meeting again so this is an example of edges now let's move further to the vertex what is vertex a point where two lines meet to form an angle especially the point of a triangle or cone opposite the base now the vertex is a point where two lines meet together especially we take an example of the cone here is the cone and you can see this on which these faces are meeting is the vertex this point is the vertex of this cone and there are many such examples of this suppose we take this in this you can also see the peel of the lemon here was also in vertex the end that made all of these now let's move further now there was a table now nature of sides in the triangle and their name so the first is all the three sides are an equal length means and that is known as scaling triangle the triangle whose all three sides suppose we take here and all three sides one was more short one was more tall on one was very tall etc you can say this is a scalene triangle means all three sides are of different length so these type of triangle are known as scalene triangle now let's move further and that's the isosceles triangle any two of the sides are equal length the isosceles triangle are the triangle when in which suppose these two lines have an equal length but this have a big length so this type of triangle is known as the isosceles triangle now the last one is equilateral triangle now the equilateral triangle is one of the triangle in which all the three sides are of equal length means a normal triangle that we make in which all the sides of equal length these three sides are of equal length so we recap all them scalene triangle is the triangle in which all the sides are different isosceles triangle is the triangle in which two sides are same and the another one is different and the third triangle is equilateral triangle in which all the three sides are equal now let's move further here we have a table of properties and name of the quadrilateral and the properties of quadrilateral so first is one pair of parallel lines one pair of parallel lines one pair of parallel lines is called tapirism now first we talk what is the parallel line the parallel lines are the line that never meet suppose here i have taken a paper here is a paper now this line and this line is a parallel line that do not meet i just show you these lines are parallel lines that do not meet each other the example are railway tracks and the pens lines they didn't meet each other now the next is two pair of parallel lines now one pair of parallel line is known as the trapezium and the two pair of parallel line is known as pally uh, pallylogram the next is pallylogram within four right angle we know what is a pallylogram 
two pair of parallel side is the parallelogram but the parallelogram with four right angle is the rectangle now two pairs means see here are we have single pair of the parallel lines here this and that is trapezium now two pair of parallel lines is the parallelogram suppose here are two parallel lines and here are two parallel lines so by joining them it make a rectangle here is only sh showing the same parallel line uh, parallelogram with four right angles is the rectangle now the next is parallelogram with four right side of equal length now the parallelogram with four right side of equal length are rhombus okay rhombus a rhombus with four right angles is the square now we have know what is rhombus the rhombus is the parallelogram with four right side of equal length but a rhombus with four right side is a square suppose this is rhombus with four right side four so it is the square the boxes of our math notebooks are square means they are a rhombus with four right angles so that's all for today thank you